Well, they had to put some sneaking passages in this game. There was like 20, 20 times enough sneaking passages in Queen of Time. Yeah, I know there was only one, but it's, it was enough. Zelda has, shouldn't have any sneaking. Okay, this time, to get across, we should do this. But be careful, do not touch any of these mines. Uh, it hurt pretty badly. Then they explode and they uh, uh, bless your uh, face off. And we don't want that. Okay, I think we have to fight something pretty soon. Oh yeah, also you can attack these but they won't die. The only way to kill them is um, attack them in that direction so that two of them bounce together. And if two of them bounce together, they'll both explode and they're gone. Also, there's a chest there. I think just some more rupees. Uh, all this area has nothing to do with the dungeon, so don't worry about keys or anything. Yeah, there's a puzzle there. I think we can uh, destroy these with um, as um, Goron. Pretty sure. So we have to go through there, and uh, to do that, we need to find a switch. But the switch is timed. Also, uh, th yeah, that's the switch. And that's another switch over there. I think one of them leads to a hard piece. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's this one. Oh, that's not timed. This uh, switch over there. Not a switch, but this one is a timed switch. Keep that in mind. You will need it for the next temple. Oh yeah, and sometimes the other switches I showed you are timed too. I forgot that. Oh, I forgot what I said. Both of them can be timed and can be normal. But one of them you can shot at, and the other ones you have to step on. Yeah, that's the difference. Okay, this I got us a hard piece first one since like 20 parts <laughs> gonna get out let's do this now we have to activate this one up there and if you don't want to waste any um, any arrows just do this don't forget we have to we have a uh, double boomerang and I'm pretty sure this is timed okay if you don't rush down there Careful not to hit the mine. Yeah, it immediately closes again. This time we have to be up. To not be blown out. And that was close, but we can't do it any uh any different. Okay, another puzzle I think. In this first part there are mostly puzzles. And after that we have to do some sneaking. Some very very stupid sneaking, but yeah, that's the game. So this is a puzzle. I'll show what happens if we hit a uh, switch in there. Yeah, we can't hit it like a sword. I think we have to need arrows. Let's see if arrows work. No. Oh yeah, that's it. I forgot that. So we step on there, and then we actually have to hit this. I said hit this. Oh, it stays down. Or does it? Just stand on there. And I hit it before it goes back. Yeah, that's it. Now there comes water out there and should push us up, because, but we were not standing on it properly. So we were pushed by sight. Come on, get down again. Well, it's not enough time. Could do it with arrows as well, but I want to do it like this because I don't want to waste any arrows. I'm too far behind again. Come on, walk back. Oh, great. Yeah, this might take some time. It's really stupid sometimes. And this should do it. Yay. Even though it was a bit close. 
Yep. Okay, so we climb up there. There's nothing important down there. So I can climb up here. And there's some mines there hanging from the ceiling. Don't ask me why. And what we do now is attack them. If, if you shoot these, it should bounce into the other one. Yes, both explode. It hits the switch behind. Another thing down there is open. Let's see if there's anything else in here. No. Also, don't forget uh, with uh, the double boomerang thing, fins, you can uh, hook up onto items and uh, let them travel to you. Okay, so now we have the spools out. We can look around. What we have to do is, I think, this. Yes. It shows you which way you have to go. To go to the center of there, climb up there. And once you are up there, you have to cross the bridge. That's basically what we have to do. You might want to have a look around. So we're starting from, I think, down there. Yeah, now, yeah, there is where we start. From that crate. And we have to sneak over there, climb up there, and do this. The very awesome thing that we can do is we have a bow. And if we hit um, the pirates with a bow, then they get knocked out for some time. That's basically how you get the, the photo of them. You knock them down, and you get the photo of a knocked down um, Gerudo. And you should be careful by doing it. It should be a good picture, because if it's uh, not good enough, you'll say, Hey, that's not a Gerudo pirate. And you have to do it all again. And you don't want to have that. First, we are outside here, and before we do anything, you should be careful. Let the uh, last boat pass. Not sure if they can actually see you, but I don't want to take any risks. Okay, we go. With the item we get in this uh, fortress, we can skip all that. Don't have to do any of these um, puzzles again. However, here we are now, inside Gerudo Fortress. Yeah, all the rulers are field made somehow. Don't ask me why. Okay, I can use the crates um, as a shield for their line of sights. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, that's a bit rough. Okay, what we're about to do now is we try to knock uh, a group down like this. And we try without getting seen to get a photo of this. Let's do this. Look on the map. Uh, I think I'll get closer. Ah. Uh, um, there we go. I hope that's it. Yeah, it's still bugged. I don't care. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, run! If this picture's not wild, I'm going to bite my ass off. Um, okay, let's see. What do we need for this castle? Nothing at all, so let's stick with the green now. Okay, now we have to get to the center. And for this, just shoot all of them. Come on. Oh my god, that was close. I thought we'd see us. Now go, 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 go! Oh my god, that was so close. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. We have to wait. Around here. You can see the Gerudo on the bridge, and we wait until he, it uh, until she turns. And then we jump up, shoot an arrow, and run past. Yeah, we have to wait some time. Okay, she stands up there, right above the ladder. I think she runs um, around that, it runs back. Just look on the map if you want to see where she is. Might take some time. So when we're in there, we have to um, we're above another room, and then we have to do something. And after that, we get the new item. 
awesome. Yeah, I know. Waiting. Boring. Let's, let's shorten the um, waiting time with this. Oh my god, awesome. Yeah, some of the camera angle changed now we can see the Gerudo. Aha. Okay. We're nearly there. 